Praise the name of the Lord. Family, once again, you're welcome. It's me, your friend and your sister, Dr. Irene, and I'm here with a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, family, you know, each day the Lord gives a word to his people, a word to encourage them, a word to strengthen them, a word to show them how much he loves them because truly he is called Abba Father, the Lord our Father, and he loves us so much. And today the Lord says, I should tell you that they are confused. Your enemies are confused. Oh my God, I feel this message right inside my bones and it belongs to somebody and it's very specific and it's very timely. You know, the Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 21, chapter 28 on verse number one, it says, the wicked run it when no man pursues them. That is what is happening to them because your prayers, you know, certain times when we pray because we have the spirit of God, you have the spirit of God in you. Now, when you're talking, you feel like, oh, nobody is getting you. No one is getting, seeing you. No one is doing this, but they have been seeing you. Someone has been seeing you. Each time you pray and you put up the armor of God and you step into that place, you make them, you, 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 you intimidate them with your presence, your presence actually intimidates them it's not like you say something to them that makes them to be frightened makes them to be threatened no but your presence there is a certain presence that you carry you know the bible says the Bible refers to, to God as a consuming fire. Each time you stay in the presence of God, that fire rubs up on you. And when you enter the office, when you enter your parlor, when you enter in their midst, they feel very uncomfortable. Hallelujah. And that is why they are doing everything to remove you where you are because they are threatened. They are being chased around. They are running from one side to the other looking for a hiding place. But the Bible continues to say, it says, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. I come with this word for you. This is your prophetic word. This is your prophetic in, uh, um, confirmation. You are as bold as a lion and keep being bold as a lion. Oh my God, you know, when you are you, when you are you, you are watching a soccer game, no matter how much the other team is being beaten, they don't give up. They keep pressing. They know that even at the ninetieth, the ninetieth, when it's ninety minutes, they know there is still a chance that they will make it. And that is a lion that is in you. He that is in you is a lion of the tribe of Judah. And the word of the Lord says in the book of Revelation, chapter three, verse I mean chapter five, verse five, He says. Weep no more because the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. You have prevailed. Hallelujah. Amen.